Hi everyone, in this problem we have to uh, write the definite integral that gives the area under the curve of this function from 0 to 3 and evaluate it and do a rough sketch of the area we're actually finding. Let's draw a picture first since that's kind of uh, fun. So x squared is a parabola, so here's the y-axis and here's the x-axis, so x and y and our parabola looks something like this. It's pretty good. <laughs> Here's zero, and then here is maybe three. And so what we're looking for is the area under the curve from zero to three, so this blue region here. So this area is given by the following definite integral. The integral from zero to three, so left to right, of f of x, our function, which is x squared, dx. So now let's go ahead and, and work it out. I'll come over here on the left since we have more room and we'll work out this beautiful integral. This is called a definite integral by the way. It's called definite because it has these numbers. These are called limits of integration. So we write down the 0 and we write down the 3 and then we write down our function x squared and then the symbol dx. That basically just means uh, that x is the variable we're integrating with respect to the variable. So this is a really simple integral. We use something called the power rule to do this. We basically take this number here, we add one to it, and then we divide by the result. So two plus one is three, and then you just also divide by three. Now if you're wondering, hey, wait a minute, aren't you supposed to put uh, a plus c here? Whenever you have a definite integral, you don't have to put it because when you work through it, you end up subtracting and the c's actually cancel. So then you can write a line here, or you can write a bracket, or you can do two brackets. Those are the three options. So uh, line, bracket, or two brackets. These are the common notations. Uh, you can pick your favorite. And we're going from zero to three. So you put the numbers there. Then you plug in the top number first. So this is equal to three cubed over three. Then you subtract and then you plug in the bottom number, so 0 cubed over 3. So 3 cubed is 27, or we can just actually, well, I'll leave it as 27, we can cancel 3. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't do that, and then this is 0 over here. And 27 over 3 is the wonderful number of 9. So what a nice answer, what a nice problem. The area here is equal to 9. Really cool, right? We can use calculus to find areas under curves. I hope this video has been helpful.